Hi, I'm Bob Canote, and I was a farmer for 32 years and a teacher during that time. In 2009, I decided that I was going to retire, but I was going to do something radically different, and you get to come along because you're watching the Camp Chaos Chronicles. Dang it. So why Camp Chaos? Well, that's a name that has evolved for the shop over time on Facebook because that's where I post all of the pictures and videos of various projects that I do. And it was noticed by several of the people that it appears to be chaos out here. And so that's where the shop got its name. Now, in my role as Captain Chaos, it's my job to direct all of the chaos. This is not about me being a chaotic guy. It's making sure that materials, tools, parts, all show up at the right time to keep the process moving forward so that a project occasionally pops out the other end of the pipeline. Otherwise, what happens is things get all clotted up in one big jumble and it does actually become chaos. Now, what are the projects that we're doing right here? Well, let's take a look at some of them and talk about some of the plans that we have for the Camp Chaos Chronicles. This is a project that I picked up this last fall. A couple of reasons. First of all, the price was right. And number two, of the two variants of the Jaguar XJS, which this is a 1990 example, the convertible is the most desirable. I don't get it. I spent too much time out here on this place working out in the hot sun to appreciate a convertible, but some people like them. So that's why I got it. Now the plan is to have the car appraised, find out what it's worth as it sits right now, and then figure out what it's gonna to cost to take it to the next level, which would be a good, presentable, dependable daily driver type vehicle. Got a lot going for it, reasonably good paint, good chrome, good glass, driveline is in pretty good shape, but it does have some rather obvious issues like this hole in the roof, for example. Now this project is what I call the Texas XJS. And the reason I call it that is because I found this car on one of my Facebook Jaguar pages, advertised in Northern Texas for $500. I went down and bought it. And the reason that I bought it was because I think it's gonna make a great episode for those of you who have access to one of these cars for $500 to $1,000 to be able to assess the vehicle and determine whether it's in fact a viable project or it's just a $500 parts car. You got to remember, this is a mid-1980s V12 powered GT car, and these things will break your heart. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Now the first major project that we chose to undertake here at Camp Chaos was the construction of a Champ Car. A Champ Car is an endurance racing series for $500 cars. And I put a group of young guys together and we're building this car, and naturally, when you're deciding what car you're gonna build for a race series, your natural choice is going to be a large four-door luxury sedan. Like the XJ40. Believe me, there's a good reason for this. The project that got this crazy train going is this, my 1987 Jaguar XJS track car. It's been the star of my show on Facebook since 2009, and I bought it in 2005 out of a salvage lot for $500. The point being to strip off the parts that I wanted and then just dump the shell. However, a couple of my friends decided that they were gonna go and do track days, and I figured, you know what? All I need to do is rebuild the engine, put a shift kit in the automatic transmission, and I could do track days too. 
Well, then the mission creep set in, and now it's got a manual transmission, completely rewired system, roll cage, Weber carburetors, redone brakes and suspension. My life hasn't been the same since. Now another set of episodes that we're going to be doing is that of the tool shed. Now as we go through the shop here you'll see that we've got a lot of different tools and benches and and other things that we use in order to do what we do. And the purpose of the tool shed is to highlight those things. One tool or maybe one area per episode to give you some insight as to my thinking as I designed these things and uh, sort of an evaluation of how they work and uh, what I would do differently perhaps. To keep from feeling cooped up in this place, what we'll do occasionally is things like take extended road trips with some of the vehicles that we work on, get out and look at some of the special interest vehicles in the area, and there's quite a few of them, do road tests, Whatever it takes to get us off of the place, that will be the Escape from Camp Chaos series of episodes. So those are some of the projects. This is Camp Chaos, and if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. So we'll see you next time on the Camp Chaos Chronicle.